So what we're going to discuss is a few of the enhancements, um, which I think are really actually quite useful. We have one of the big ones uh, for 2011, one of my favorites, uh, the ability to isolate objects. Yeah. So if I select um, these objects here, right click, and we go to, there it goes, isolate objects. All of my other objects have been hidden from view. I can bring them back. Um, I can also, instead of isolating an object, hide it from view. So we have the inverse option available as well. Now when you have objects hidden, you are given an indication that this is the case. And we can end those uh, isolations as well. We also have a very, very useful tool, very quick to use, uh, called Select Similar. If I select an object, and we can use the Select Similar tool to select similar objects on the drawing, no matter what they be. Um, we can also choose what, what properties this compares in order to build up the selection set. When I select objects that are on more than one layer, for example, it will build up that selection set running two streams side by side and select both types of objects. Finally, we're going to talk about selection cycle. Uh, this is a new drafting tool that's available. If I have objects that overlay one another, yeah, it can be quite difficult to select the object that we're actually intending to se select. So for instance here, we've got a few objects that overlay one another. If I select, you can see it just gives me a list um, that I can choose from. Yep, that's the object I was intending to use. One more thing uh, that we have available, which I really, really like, uh, is the opportunity to select an object and choose Add Selected. That allows me to base the tool that I want to use off the object that I had selected. So there you can see we can use the geometry that's already in the drawing to very, very quickly uh, generate new geometry based on the same sort of properties.